Update on the lawsuit involving the Albuquerque Rapid Transit Project. We've been telling you about this for months. The city is planning to change portions of Central Avenue for a new bus lane, and the plan is pitting some business owners against city officials. Tonight, we're waiting on a final decision that could halt that project. Now, the judge in this case says he plans to make that decision on whether the art project can move forward soon. Nancy Laughlin was there today as both sides battled it out in court. Yeah, that's right. The judge asked both sides a lot of questions. He is not only a federal judge, but he's also a UNM graduate, so he is very familiar with the area and is well aware of what is at stake here. Attorneys for art for the art project say if the judge delays the project, it would cost the city and you, the taxpayer, about $7,500 a day, and they fear it could delay the project indefinitely. Attorneys also argued art would have some impact on the environment, but not what they say is a significant impact. They also say this project has been in the works for years, that people who were concerned could have voiced those concerns a long time ago. But lawyers for the plaintiffs in this case say a bus route through the heart of Central would completely change the charm of the area, hurt businesses, and harm the environment, and that their concerns have been ignored. I grew up in Albuquerque, and I really think this is a cultural catastrophe. It prevents, it literally chops Central Avenue in half so that nobody from the south side can cross Central to visit their family on the north side. That's very simple. Now, Judge Ken Gonzalez said he had a lot of digesting to do. He has to look through hundreds of pages of documents. He said that he would make a decision today and share it on the federal website. Of course, we are keeping close tabs on that, and we will let you know what he decides as soon as that decision comes down. We did ask the city to talk on camera about the decision, but they declined. The plaintiffs in this case say if the judge doesn't rule in their favor, they plan on taking it to a higher court. Back to you.